good, good day, good morning, good night, good evening, wherever you may be across this wonderful and beautiful globe. Guys, how you doing out there? This is Destiny, and it is almost midnight where I am. And I live in the beautiful United States of America in the state of Florida. I'm on the Central Standard Time, so it's tw almost 12 midnight here. And I have another video. This is a video that the Creator God, He uploaded in me earlier this morning. And I decided before I go to bed tonight that I just want to go ahead on and download it. So you guys can get this information and knowledge as well. So, hi. <laughs> guys, let's jump into this because this is a different topic. You know, I've been doing the topic on everything that you need is within you. And I've done several videos this week. And I've said I'm going to hang my head right there and keep doing those videos as the creator will give them to me. And today I didn't get an uh, upload on that topic at all. You know, I just didn't get an upload. But what he did, he gave me an upload to this brand new topic. And uh, <laughs> it was amazing. This was an amazing topic when uh, I heard it within me. Those words began to <laughs> come out. And I was like, whoa, that's pretty deep, you know, because I never thought about it like this as he had revealed this to me earlier this morning. I never saw it in this way. But the Creator has such an imagination. He has such humor. He just had this beautiful personality, and he has a way of doing unique things. So, guys, let's jump into it. It's a new topic. <laughs> and this topic is called the the creator God, he adds, he subtracts, he multiplies, but he never divides. <laughs> and I know people are like, here you go, Destiny again. Destiny, where you get your topics from? I told you. I, I hang out into nature. I, I, stay, I stay connected to the divine creator. Practically all the time, throughout the day, even at work, my mind is tuned into the universe and to what the Creator God is speaking into me. And the moment He starts sending me messages, I grab a pad and a pencil and I write them down and stick them in my pants pocket. So the first chance I get away from the job, I come home, I sat before him and I began to meditate on it, think on it, and as he continued to keep adding more and more information and then I just whew, upload them and give them to you guys. But let me tell you the topic again. The creator of God he adds he subtracts he multiplies but he never divides. Let's jump into this. We're going to be talking about a little math today. If you got any math genius out there, mathematicians out there, okay, let's jump into it. And I just want to say, watch my videos. Watch Destiny Forever Walks videos. That is my YouTube channel. So I invite you to come over and watch my videos. Listen intensely to the messages to the, what the words is saying see if there is anything within the message that resonates with you something in the message that you can take away that will help you to grow to your greater and higher self just listen to my message listen to all of my messages if you do anything if you don't do anything else listen to the messages that i put out there because that is the most important thing to me i mean i love you know when people subscribe to my channel. I love when people join and connect with me on my channel. I love their comments and all that. I just love having that interaction with people. But interacting with people and not seeing them 
glory to the greater higher self, it bothers me. Being in relationship with people, having a connection with people, then seeing that they don't know the greater higher self and the greatness that is within them, that seemed to bother me. And I feel this guilt that I need to be putting this information out there, whether they receive it or not, if they reject it or receive it, it's up to them. But I'm going to do what I feel that the Creator is doing. And it's telling me to put it out there, put it out there. For he or she that has an ear, let them hear what the Creator God is saying. That person's going to get it. Those that reject this, they're going to stay just like they are. Always running, looking for answers when everything I keep telling you guys is within you. Let me get into this. The Creator God, the Creator God, He, as He subtracts, He multiplies, but He never divides. Now, guys, let's talk a little bit. God and you are not a majority. Ooh. Okay, Destiny, how you come up with that one? Hang in there. Don't get, don't, don't, don't click me off yet, but I'm going to repeat it. God, your creative God of the universe, and you are not a majority, but rather he himself is enough. He himself is more than enough. Our creator God, he never responds to our needs in haste. And we can be so thankful because we've made a lot of hasty, hastily decisions and a whole lot of microwave decisions. We always jump in, bounce, and try to get quick and fast answers and solutions. But he never responds to our needs in haste. Yet he is never slacking concerning his promises. Never come up short. Never miss the mark. Never fulfill what he says that he's going to do. He's always on time even when we feel like that. He doesn't show up. He doesn't hear. He's always on time. So if you want life to be added to you people, listen. Then you're going to have to subtract your life. And you're going to have it, then you're going to have to give it to others. You got to stop trying to hang on to everything for yourself. You got to stop trying to grab it all up and keep it for yourself. You're going to have to want to add to your life, people. Then you subtract yours and then you give it to others. So if you want your resources to be multiplied, and I know we all do, I want more, I want more, I want more, this, want more, that, I want more, give it, give it, give it, give it, we're supposed to be that kind of people, we have that kind of nature. <laughs> we created that nature of our own, but we always want more resources to be multiplied. So what I'd say, divide what you have, people, but never allow yourself to be separated. You divide what you have, but never, the, never, never allow yourself to be separated. So maybe your life will be filled like math. Like he said, you know, this great mathematician. I mean, there is so much, many math answers, solutions, and problems, you guys. I'm not a mathematician. I, I don't like math. <laughs> it's not one of my things, but I know it's important. So maybe your life will be feel like math. Let's say it like this, like multiply kindness, guys. Then you divide your worries. You get what I'm saying? Then you subtract your sorrows. And most importantly, you're going to add happiness. And happiness, harmony, and hope. It's the three H's. Happiness, harmony, and hope. It will never fail when the creator God of the universe, because he is the mathematician in your life. He's the whiz. He's a genius. He's the brain with all these 
logic and numbers and whatever. He knows everything. And even though people, our daily lives are often as complicated as math problems, and math problems can get very complicated, very deep and intense and stressful, especially when you're not a genius with math. Our lives can get just as complicated as those math problems. But listen, the creative God, his peace will come in for us. His peace will surpasses all of our understanding to keep our whole minds and our hearts in tune and stayed on him. So he could keep us in a state of consciousness, that, that state of mind of positivity. So his peace for us, it comes into our hearts, people. That's our love sharker. That's our love sharker. That's our love. That's our love center. And it comes into our heart only when we trust in his plan. We have to trust and believe everything that he says. We gotta, we gotta get ourselves out of the way so he can get in and do what he has to do in our lives. When we trust his plans for our lives, that's when he works the hardest for us. And you do, people, you don't, you don't have to know how to add. <laughs> Even though you don't know how, you don't know if you don't know how to subtract or even multiply or divide, it doesn't matter because he is the mathematician. You got to get this. He's the brain, the wisdom, numbers, the logics. He knows it all. The Creator God knows it all. So you don't have to know how to add, subtract, multiply people, or even divide. Hey, he got this. He got this. And like I said, remember, he is the mathematician. Listen to this. Our God, you want to call him the infinite intelligence, your divine source, your energy source, your higher power, your creator of the universe. You want to call him God, Lord, Jesus. It does not matter. He's all one. He is all connected with each one of us, well, no matter what name that we give him, but I call him the creator of the universe. And I know a lot of people call him God, they may call him Buddha, they may call him Jehovah, they may call him Yahshua, some may call him Yahuwah, some, but just, just a whole lot of names, but I call him God of the universe, the creator of God of the universe. He divides himself against himself. Can you believe that? He divides himself against himself. And if you don't believe that, I know you, I know you know, and you believe what that Bible tells you. So then you go to Mark, the New Testament now, Mark chapter 3, verse 24, and you'll see that. That God never divides himself against himself. But he will not violate his character or his personal integrity either. And God never divides himself, people. Listen. However, when he departs himself, guess what he does? He gives good measure, press down, shaking together, people, and running over. He keeps giving and giving and giving out to us. Listen to what the Bible has to say. For if a kingdom will be divided against, him, against itself, that kingdom will not be able to stand. And listen, Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, this whole beautiful creation, this whole universe has been standing for many years, people, before we were ever created before we ever became a thought in the mind of our parents the universe mother earth was always been standing doing her work doing her job keeping everything beautified purified and waiting for the day of our birth so mother earth cleanses people she cleanses and just as the body 
needs cleansing. Mother Earth needs cleansing as well. And she's such a great cleanser that she pours out her purification and right on to the lives of the people of the God of the universe. So, Mother Earth needs cleansing. And we also need that cleansing work in our spirits, people, and we need it in our souls. And I've told you before, guys, you got to listen to this because the Creator God, He never divides and He never separates His body or His people. For He will forever add to our lives. He will subtract from our lives. He will multiply from our lives. But guys, I'm going to tell you again. He will never divide. He will never divide. He will never divide or separate us from Him or from our lives. If we are separated from Him or from one another or from the earth or the universe or whatever that is all intact with Him, it's because we divide it and we allow ourselves to be separated. But He will never do that. Now, let's go to the Bible, please. Let's go to the Bible because y'all saying, you know, that's a talking still in crazy out of her head again, people. But y'all trust the Bible. I know, man, people will fight you and, and, and beat the hell out of you if you don't, if you, <laughs> if you don't give it from the Bible, you know. But like I said, my take on the Bible is to maybe totally different from yours because I use my Bible as the higher, it's the higher blueprint of my infinite intelligence this is my roadmap to my higher consciousness self that's the way i see my my bible this is the way creator god has shown me so guys listen to this let's look at the bible and see what the creator god has to say about dividing See what he has to say about division and division. And I'm going to give you a few scriptures here. So y'all will say like, that's been making this up. I'm not making it up. It's in your Bible. First Corinthians, I think it's chapter one, maybe verse 10, 11. I don't know. Verse 10, 11. I don't know. But it says first Corinthians, first, first Corinthians chapter one, verse 10, I think 11. It said, appeal to you brothers by the name of the creator God of the universe that all of you agree and that there will be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. Another one is in Romans chapter 16, I think it's maybe verse 17 or 18. And that says, I appeal to you brothers to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. Another one is Titus. So this, this is the New Testament. Titus chapter 3 and maybe verses 9 and 10. That's Titus chapter 3 verses 9 and 10, I think. And that says, as for a person who strives up division, after warning him once and then twice, have nothing more to do with that person. Knowing that such a person is warped and he's sinful and he is already self-condemned. Then there's Luke chapter 11, verse 17. And it says, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste. And a divided household will fall. That's what I'm saying. So that's what he has to say about division. Being divided. He is not for dividing his people or having us divided ourselves against one another. Because once we divide ourselves, we are setting ourselves up for the greatest fall of our lives. And there is so much more in the Bible that you can go and pull out so many more of these scriptures that he talks about division and being divided. I just gave you a few examples. 
Guys, division isn't something solely born about by contentious political decisions, guys, but it can occur under all types of conditions and in response to extremely personal situations. And sometimes it may seem as though the physical or the metaphorical barriers that separate us from one another are impossible to hurdle. And sometimes, guys, we don't even want to work to remove these barriers out of our lives. So, does a divide act the exist in your family? Is this your life? Is this in your friendship groups? Does a division exist within those things in your part of your lives? Is there a sharp division among the residents that is in your community, people? And if you are despairing at the lack of unity among neighbors or nations, then you can draw comfort from the creative God of this universe and his promises said that he would never leave us nor will he forsake us. And if any man or woman like wisdom, let him ask of God and he will give it to them. He will not withhold any good thing from those who walk up right people. He just want us to live in harmony and in unity, never be divided. He said, he wants us to live in unity. Brothers, it is good that you live in unity. That's what he tells us. So people, let me say this. Regardless of political or personal situations, and we are stronger when we work together. And you got you, you, you got to see it. A lot of people feel like, you know, I can do this by myself. I can take care of this. I don't need your help. We need each other, people. We are one. We are absolutely all one with everything in the universe, with everything. One with God, one with our brothers and sisters, one with the animals, the animals, the plants. One people, we one with everything. We need each other. We need to work together so we can become stronger. Love and unity are two principles that really complement each other, people. And they are also two principles that the Creator wants us to implement in our interactions with each other. So we are so stubborn, but we got to get beyond our wanting to be in control of everything. Our lives and even the lives of other people and everything else around us. We got to start learning how to interact, to have that peaceful relationship, that communication, that genuality of love that flows from the creator God himself so we can love one another and we got to stop separating ourselves and dividing ourselves. A house that is divided among itself, guys, it says it's going to fall. So guys, division isn't something solely bought about by contentious or contentious political decision. And it can occur under all types of conditions in response to extremely personal situations. And those things will flare up. Yes, when the heat is on. Guys, you can expect a whole lot of things that you didn't think that was wrapped up in your warped little brain and your selfish little mind and your, and your crazy negative thoughts. Those things going to come out. It's going to show you you have contention in your heart. You have, uh, you have a, a heart where you are not loving like the creator and you are constantly bickering and, and bite biting and you have division. And that's not what the Creator God is, is propelling us to move to our greater, higher self so we can be united with everything in the universe and with Him. Sometimes it may seem as though, guys, that the physical or the metaphorical burials that separate us from one another, they are impossible to get over. They are impossible to leap or to hurdle over. And sometimes we don't even want to work at it <laughs> to remove them. Because I said we get so comfortable with everything. I don't like changes. I don't like I don't like unfamiliar territory. I I, I like things.
just the way they are. But guys, that's the way we are. And that's the way we got to learn to be. That's the way we got to learn to be. Trusting in Him with all our heart and leaning not to our own understanding. Regardless of your political or personal situations, guys, we are stronger, and I'm saying it again, when we work together, when we work in unity, it is good that brothers and sisters, that they dwell in unity, because that is harmony. Loving unity, as I said, there are two principles. Two principles that are brilliantly, and they brilliantly complement each other. And they are also two principles, people, like I said, that God wants us to implement in our lives. He wants us to implement it into our interactions and into our relationships, into our love for one another. He wants us to interact these things so we can grow together in harmony and in love so we can become our greater and higher version. Guys, the Creator God, He wants us to add to our lives, subtract the things from our lives that serve us no purpose. He wants us to multiply the blessings that He gives us so we can reap an abundance. The vision is not in His plan for us, guys. The vision. He does not want us to be divided or separated. Every kingdom divided against himself is laid waste. And a divided household or divided people, guys, they will fall. So remember, the creator, he adds to our lives. He subtracts from our lives. He multiplies in our lives. But he never divides. That's what I want to get you to see. Subtracting from our lives is when he's taking away those things that is has no purpose, no value, no principles that we can grow to become our greater and higher self, adding to give us more of what we need to become our greater and higher version, multiply so we can have more of abundance of what that he is creating for us. But he never wants us to be divided. I'm going to see you guys at the next video. That is something you really need to think about. And I will talk to you at the next video, guys. Watch Destiny Forever Walks videos. Go to her YouTube channel. And I'm going to see you at the next video. Whether it will be at Destiny's house or yours. Guys, we can sit together and watch Destiny Forever Messages, okay? Namaste.